My name is Catherine Moore, and I'm president of the Intuitive Foundation. In support of the Global Surgical Training Challenge, I've been working with the faculty of Foothill College Emergency Medical Services Training Program to build a complete suite of online self-learning modules to allow the EMS students to self-train on psychomotor skills necessary for pre-hospital emergency management. This was a good pilot program for the GSTC as we needed to train students who would not be able to interact with us in person because of the pandemic. Our target learners have no prior medical training and our goal was to provide materials to allow them to get themselves to the skill level necessary to pass their national registry and their California EMT psychomotor skill exams in a wide variety of emergency life-saving procedures. We put this course in the same Apropedia platform that we are asking you to use, and we have been training the EMTs throughout the pandemic using these modules. We administered questionnaires to the learners throughout the initial deployment and improved and expanded the module in response to learner feedback. To study the effectiveness of these modules, we evaluated the students' clinical skills at the end of the program with the same instructors who had taught the course pre-pandemic and evaluated students using the same nationally and state approved credentialing criteria that we used for previous cohorts of learners who had learned entirely in traditional in-person training. There are many modules within our EMT program course. The one I will focus on for this example video is the airway management module. This module takes learners through the process of opening an airway, removing foreign bodies, using adjunct airways, providing supplemental oxygen, manually ventilating the patient, and self-assessing their success. We are using a commercial airway mannequin, which would not meet the innovation or resource-constrained evaluation criteria of the Global Surgical Training Challenge, but will serve for the purpose of this example video. The key internal features of the simulator that we use are airway structures with an occluded airway in a neutral head position, which may be opened with manipulation, and inflatable lungs. It also includes an inflatable digestive system structures with correct anatomical relationship to the airway that allow the learner to ascertain whether their ventilation technique is resulting in proper ventilation while avoiding improper stomach inflation. This feedback is a critical part of the learner's self-assessment using this module. To access this module, the learner comes to the airway management landing page from the top level NREMT skill set course. There's a video demonstrating all aspects of the skill with key points highlighted for easy review. There's a timestamp allowing the learner to easily jump to material of interest and a list of expanded skills for more learning, as well as the list of equipment that you need to practice these skills. Underneath the video is the information about what you will learn in this module and what type of learner it is for followed by the didactic content associated with each subskill, as well as links to outside supplemental material. For more in-depth content on each aspect of airway management, for example, proper and safe assembly and disassembly of oxygen tanks, there is a subskill video as well as links in this external content. This allows the learner to focus on one aspect of the skill and to practice until proficient before combining all of these smaller skills into the larger skill of competent airway management. Our self-assessment materials need several different ways to assess and allow the learner to generate their own feedback as they seek to practice and gain competence in each aspect of the skill. We include a lab manual, which has a list of the skills and an order in which they should be performed, guidelines, for feedback from the simulator, a scenario for practice with another person who does not necessarily need to be trained themselves but can have you follow a script, reference to the national certification checklists, and a quiz to check your knowledge. If all of the steps are completed, the learner will be able to familiarize themselves with the equipment, workflow, and the physical aspects of using this equipment to manage the airway of the patient in the field. The lowest fidelity aspect of the simulation is the mannequin itself, and the limitations of mannequins for airway training are well documented in the literature. However, despite the low fidelity of the tissue feel coupled with the absence of complicating factors, we have seen from our learner cohort that consistent, competent execution of the skills taught in this simulation module provide a solid grounding for the basic physical and logistical skills of managing an airway in the field with a minimum of practices that must be unlearned when transferring to real clinical practice. Thank you.